If you're a returning viewer to the channel, it's nice to see you again. And if you're a brand new viewer, welcome. Hope you enjoy this video and all the other tutorials on the channel. I'm Ray Scott and welcome to Visual Art Photography Tutorials. Today on Neighborhood Photographer, it's some special autumn photography that we're going after today. Uh, normally in the North Country at this time of year, the displays are incredible. Beautiful reds and orange and green and yellow in the trees. Wonderful. And the tendency is to get out there and shoot great landscapes or individual trees that appear to be almost on fire. And I've done that a lot, but today we're going to really drill down and get in close on individual leaves and we're going to light them in such a way that not only will the color appear and be very vibrant, but you're actually going to see the anatomy of leaves. A couple of things to keep in mind as we get going. You're really going to want to be using a tripod today. And the other thing is you may want to gather a few leaves a couple of days ahead of when you start the project. That way you can place them in books or in magazines and flatten them out because what you want here is a really flat surface so that you can use an aperture of say f8 or f11 and you don't have any of that bending and curling that you might have in a leaf and this way everything will be in focus from corner to corner. As usual, comments and questions can be addressed down below. Let's get started. So I'm using an old light box that I used to use to show slides back in the film days. I like it because it's nice and simple and it gives a nice even light behind the leaf. But you can use other things too. For instance, you can set up a piece of glass with CDs or a book, elevate it a little bit, and then put a light underneath it for a good constant lighting of that leaf. Or you can even use flash. The idea is to get light in behind the leaf. And of course you place the leaf with the good side up, the colorful side up, and then you let the light come in through underneath. And of course, it's really important to make sure that your camera and your lens is very level and very square for, so that you can have a good uh, focus plane. So once we've got everything aligned the way we want it to be, uh, we've got everything in focus from corner to corner, we're using an aperture of, let's say, f8 or f11. The leaf has been flattened in a book or in a magazine. Look at the clarity. Now, the reason why you're seeing all of this beautiful anatomy is because this is being backlit. All right. Now, here's what it looks like when it's not backlit. It's exactly the same picture, except that the light is off and all you're getting right now is light from a window. You can see the anatomy, you can see the color, but you don't get the impact. This makes it look very, very abstract. This, you know, is a leaf. This, you know, is a leaf, but you have to think about it a little bit, especially with this little, that little black mark over there, which is okay to have in there if you want to uh, have the reality of an imperfect leaf. But look at the midrib. You see that, and you see all of the other little tributaries, all the ribs that go through this thing, and you can see the different cells. So that's what the backlighting can do. Here's another image, even closer. Now it becomes very abstract. And the only reason why you may figure out that this is a leaf is because of that midrib that's running through it. But you can see the actual cells of the leaf and that's because they're being lit from the bottom. They have that backlighting going. Here, the imperfection of the leaf. I've chosen to portray it in the reality of some imperfections and I've left them there. Your choice as to whether or not that works for you. Here's another look. Look at that. I mean, it looks like rivers and tributaries. It, it could even be a, a suburban setting from up above, if you know what I mean. Houses in perfect rows. It's that. It's nature at its best, and it's shown in an abstract way. Why? Because we're doing macro photography, because we're up so very close. Now we're going to go even closer. Look at that. And I'm going to point this out. Because it's been so magnified and because it's so close, it's showing a slight imperfection here. The leaf could have been a little bit flatter because you can see there where it's just a little bit softer than in some other places. That's because it came up a little bit. And the depth of field, maybe I should have set it to about F16, but I left it at F11. But that's what you get with really close in macro photography. The next one, 
I've taken the same shot, but I've moved in even closer through cropping. And now without the midrib and all of the other things, you really have no idea what it is and it becomes completely abstract. It doesn't always have to be the grand landscape that shows off amazing autumn photography. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.